is not the boy he once was. At one time you couldn't keep him off the football field, but now he always seems to have something more important to do. <laughs> Spending his time tying knots is surprising enough, but he also does peculiar things like shaking hands with the left hand. The reason for all this is that Chick has joined the Boy Scouts. He has so many new interests that he's not sure which one to concentrate on first. Every day, Boy Scouts in Malaya are gathering together in suits like the one that Chick has joined. Lord Baden Powell founded the Scout Movement in 1908. Today there are over 36,000 Scouts in Malaya. They begin their training as Cubs and go on to become Scouts and Rovers. Now there are also Air Scouts to satisfy the modern boys' taste for adventure, and Sea Scouts for those who find adventure in boats and boatworks. The Scout movement has spread to more than 50 different countries. Every few years, representative Scouts from each of these countries take part in what is called a Jumbo Race, a great international meeting of thousands of Scouts. <laughs> Young boys want life to be adventurous. Very often they make it so in ways which are harmful to themselves and to other people. It should not be necessary for boys to satisfy their adventurous spirit in these ways. Scouting provides them with ways of enjoying themselves which satisfy their special needs and help them to avoid harming themselves and their neighbors. These boys are learning to look after themselves and to be self-reliant. Open air exercises are fun for Chick and his troops. When boys first want to join a scout troop, they sometimes have to persuade their parents to allow it. Ramaya is very keen to join, and he brings a scout friend home with him to help persuade his mother. He explains that it will not interfere with his lessons at school because all scout meetings are held outside school hours. <laughs> 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 
Eventually, his mother agrees to let him join when she realizes how good scouting will be for him. Ramaya is brought to the scout hut for the first time and he finds that there is a troop meeting going on there. He is introduced to his patrol leader. Suddenly, he has a lot of new friends among them, six. The new boy is shown the badges which he can qualify for if he is prepared to try. The scout motto is be prepared and the scout has to train himself to be ready to help others and how it is needed. There are other ways in which scouts can be helpful, less exciting perhaps than saving someone's life, but nonetheless important. The scout is expected to do one good turn a day, to be kind to anyone, great or small, rich or poor, friends, strangers and even enemies. This kind of help is given freely by all scouts. They do not expect tips and will refuse payment for work which is no more than friendliness and courtesy. But once every year, scouts have a job week during which they will do any work they are asked to do. They do accept payment for these jobs and the money they get helps to finance the activities of the troops. Six does this kind of job like other scouts. He also contributes whatever he can to the collection made at meetings of his patrol. Funds collected by the troop are looked after by the court of honor, which is made up of the scoutmaster and the patrol leaders. The court is responsible for the internal affairs of the troop. It decides on such matters as rewards, discipline and programs of work. One of the most popular scouting activities is camping. Many troops camp every school holiday. Some who have their own campsites go every weekend. Some people talk about camping as roughing it. And the scout soon learns that camping is only rough if you fail to look after yourself. And he learns all the simple ways there are of making himself comfortable even in very difficult conditions. A troop of scouts is divided into patrols of six or seven boys each. The patrols are identified by their flags. And the patrol leader will call his patrol together in a way which all will recognize. There is serious training to be done at camp too. It is not all fun and games. Scouts, remembering their motto, be prepared, learn easy but effective ways of dealing with any accident that may occur. They do have their fun too, of course, and it is just the kind of healthy exercise that growing boys need.
A boy will get most out of his foul training if he begins early as a wolf cub and goes through each stage of scout, senior scout, and rover. There is a ceremony at each point in his scouting career. A going up ceremony marks the advance from wolf cub to scout. The new scout is introduced to the troop and they welcome him in their own way. Another ceremony is the investiture. Dick has passed all his early tests and is now ready to take the promise and become a real scout. On my honor, I promise, I promise that I will do my best. That I will do my best. Do my duty. Do my duty. God, God, the king and the ruler of the state. And the ruler of the state. Help other people at all times. Help other people at all times. And to obey the South law. And to obey the South law. So now one of the very wise brothers is the South. You are now a scout. Welcome to the ship. Keep the fellow to fly. Well, she may be had to thank you. And he starts, guys. And they can eat. Chick's adventure does not end here. It is only just beginning. <laughs>